नमस्ते वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ मशीन लर्निंग टेक्निक्स कोर्स इन दिस वीडियो वील स्टडी क्लासिफिकेशन एंड रेगुलेशन ट्रीज विच इज कॉल्ड कार्ट इन शॉर्ट फॉर बिल्डिंग डिसीजन ट्री कार्ट कैन मॉडल बोथ रेगुलेशन एंड क्लासिफिकेशन प्रॉब्लम कार्ट लर्न डिसीजन ट्रीज फॉर क्लासिफिकेशन वेरी सिमिलर टू आई डी थ्री हियर वील फोकस on using card for building regression models using trees suppose we have partition our data into m regions which is r1 r2 all the way up to rm and we model the response as constant ci for each region i in order to learn such a model from the training set we have to determine the structure of the tree Specifically, we need to decide which input variable is chosen at each node to form the split criteria. What will be the value of the threshold parameter for the split, and what will be the values that we will assign to the points in the region? If we are given partitioning of the input space, we want to minimize some of square error function. Now, finding the best partition. in terms of minimum sum of square is generally computationally infeasible hence we proceed with a greedy algorithm we start with all the data consider a splitting variable j and split point s and define the pair of half planes such that we assign the point to region r1 if it is less than s for the feature j and if if its value is greater than s for feature j we assign it to half plane which is r2 we try to find the splitting variable j and the split point s that solves the following equation we want to find out we want to minimize over j and s we want to minimize over c1 in region r1 and we have to minimize over C two in region R two, so we have to select the value for the label C one in region R one such that the sum of squared error is minimized for region R one, and same thing we do in region R two with respect to the value C two. Notice that for different choices of J and S, different samples may belong to different child nodes. for any choice of j and s in a minimization can be solved as follows so to minimize over c1 the sum of squared error between the actual labels and the predicted labels and if we set c1 to 1 over n1 sum over all values of the labels we will get this particular minimum sum squared error so here n1 is number of data points in region r1 so in short what we are saying is we are setting c1 to the average value of the output label in that region we perform the similar computation in region r2 where we set the value of c2 to the average value of labels in region r2 for each splitting variable determination of the best pair j comma s is feasible the determination of the split point s can be done by scanning through all of the inputs having found the best split we partition the data into two resulting regions we repeat the splitting process on each of the two regions this process is repeated on all of the resulting regions and here we can also use variance reduction in place of some squared errors in case of regression trees so at the end of this particular process we get a regression tree we can also build classification trees and building of classification trees is very similar to what we did in id3 for classification problems the process of growing and pruning the tree is similar except that the sum of squared error is replaced by a more appropriate measure of performance so here we define pik just like we define in case of id3 and pik is the probability of class k in region i 
We classify the observations in node i to class k if pik is greater than all other pijs for j equal to 1 to k. So if the probability of class k is higher than any other class, then we assign class k to node i. In order to measure the impurity of the node, we can use either misclassification error or Gini index or cross entropy. Cross entropy and Gini index are differentiable, hence more amenable to numerical optimization. The cross entropy and Gini index are better measures than the misclassification rate for growing the tree because they are more sensitive to the node probabilities. For subsequent pruning of the tree, misclassification rate is generally used. So in this video, we learned about CART algorithm which can construct decision trees for both classification as well as regression task.